Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I want to give y'all an update on my Axial SCX-10 II after doing the brass kit from Yeah Racing on it. Took it out over the weekend to do some crawling with some friends. Had a great time, great turnout, a lot of different trucks out there. But I got to do a good, thorough test run with the vehicle and seeing did the brass help or did it not help the truck. So I tested out in areas that I knew that I had trouble in the past. So I took it out and it actually did wonderful. It did a fantastic job. Uh, definitely, I can tell that that little bit of brass that I added to the truck really helped it out and helping it perform well. There's uh, some spots where I will be you know, three wheeling, which is basically where you have three wheels on the ground and you have one up in the air. Uh, there are times where you know I would, I would basically three wheel so high that it would roll over and with that little bit of brass there it actually kept it from not rolling over i still three wheeled all right I still three wheeled but not to the point where i'm going to like roll over or anything it kept it at a nice medium height or so so it got me to where i can work my tires down and get it back down now definitely feel a crease in weight on it um with that brass there i think i tried to calculate it all together on the brass was like a 1,909 or something like that and I tried to convert it into weight and it said about four pounds now I'm not exactly sure if that's correct or not if I did it right on the uh, convert calculator thing there I don't know but uh, I definitely feel a bit of a heavy uh, difference there even with the battery inside of it uh, it just did a extremely awesome job everybody out there uh, who watched me it's like man that truck is just more capable It's doing a lot better just adding that brass there and and uh, the truck's doing it was doing great <laughs> Now I also changed up something on the body shell as well now I know I said this in my last video that I was not going to worry about scaling this out that this was going to be my full-on rock crawler uh, truck, you know, but I just couldn't find myself not to do that uh, because I have a reputation to hold. A lot of people know me uh, through the RCs. They know that I I do my body up, my body shells up really nice. I have them, you know, matching themes and all that stuff like that, and scaling them out and stuff. So I have to kind of protect my reputation there, right? So I decided that I changed up the uh, the color scheme of the body shell instead of that red and black theme that I had going on because it matched the, you know, it matched the uh, the diff covers and stuff like that. And uh, with that brass on there, and the brass, the gold, you know, the, the black and red, just did not go, just didn't sit well with me, all right? So I decided that, you know, all right, let me dig into my paint arsenal and see what I got. And I was like, I got this antique metallic gold, which is the same one I painted the TF2 in. And I decided to paint this thing gold, put some black stripes on there, and it looks phenomenal. I really love it. Just look how nice it is. Definitely goes well with that brass there. So, yeah, get you guys a close up view of it. So I really like it. Also, I did the interior again, changed it, put that uh, silver and uh, silver and flat black in there actually, matte black. And then I put my uh, my LED light bar on there, which that thing is super bright. It's stupid bright actually. 36 LEDs, that thing is just crazy bright. I also got some rock lights underneath as well. But I just wanted to get on here and give you guys an update on FCX-10 and how well it actually performed with that little bit of brass there. So uh, definitely I recommend getting that brass kit, my friends. It, is, uh, it definitely helps out. It's not stupid heavy or anything. It's a good, uh, good equal weight issue, I guess you want to say. But I enjoyed it, everybody else did. Uh, so it was a great investment just in that brass there. Uh, so yeah. Now, uh, more performance options are coming to it. Uh, if you guys know any performance items that me, you may have tried out or what, hey, comment down below, let me know what you're using or what you recommend. I'm probably gonna look at doing maybe shocks next, I mean, I have. I got 100 millimeter shocks on there from Hot Racing, but I I feel that maybe too might be a little too high. But I I still love my flex. I just love the flexibility of it, 
and I hate to lose that flex, but uh, sometimes, you know, too much flex can be a bad thing, all right? Not enough flex can be a bad thing, too. So it's kind of a, you know, where did I go? <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well. And like always, I'll see y'all later.